Good morning, everyone. This is Wednesday, July the 17th, 2024. It's 10 a.m. here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And we are at a current temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. Supposed to hit much more than that before the day's over. So I thought I'd get out early and make a video before it got too hot. All right, there we are. I'm down at the waterfront. Ferry terminal's right there. And this is downtown in Halifax. Okay, let's begin our walk, shall we? Right there. I saw the Blue Nose 2 going by here a while ago. It might happen to come in dark while we're here. We can only hope. This is a little uh, board that's showing all the stuff that's here in uh, Halifax Harbor Walk. I'm not going to go through it all, but just say hey, if you ever come to Halifax, there's a board here can tell you what all is here. And there's a map of some of the streets downtown. It don't get into every little street, but gives you some of the main ones. Lower Water, Upper Water, Hollis, Granville, Barrington. Argyle and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. This building right here is quite new. It's only been here a, not all that long, a few years, but not many. It wasn't here when we moved here. It was under construction. That was six years ago. It was under construction. It probably so it's probably been here for about it's probably been up and running for about four years, maybe. Four or five, maybe four and a half, I don't know. Anyway, here's some of the boats that, that take tourists out in the harbor on little cruises. Some of them offer food. I would say this one does. It looks like they got tables and chairs down in there and a bar. But something like the, the one we did in Montreal, we took a, a boat like that, and they have lunch on there. and. <clears throat> And coffee, and you can get your coffee right when you first go in. What? Yeah, it was more like that boat right there than this one. This is made in the style of the old Mississippi river boat. But I see inside there looks like there's tables on the bottom, bottom section, and up here you can just sit up here and. Enjoy the air, or you can go down there. Mm. I'm gonna try to just spend all my time down here this, today, and uh, we'll go into depth in depth, but I don't want to go too long, because I know people get people get bored when I make the video too long. Somebody asked me the other day if my arm gets tired when I go an hour holding the video, holding my gimbal. And I just realized yesterday, I was holding my gimbal more than an hour and and uh, I never changed hands. So I guess I don't notice it that much, but sometimes I do change hands. And, but unfortunately today, I have a coffee in that hand. <laughs> I have a Tim Hortons in, in my left hand. So my right hand's gonna take the brunt of this uh, walk today. Oh my gimbal. I see something way out there. And the, that might be the, looks like it's really tall. That might be the sails of the Blue Nose. Because I don't see it anywhere else in the harbor and I did see it earlier. Oh, wait, that's it over there. That's it right over there. You see way across the harbor with the two masts and the sails? That's it. I don't know what that is out there. Not sure. Anyways, we'll continue on around. 
This is a well-maintained boat too. It's not the blue nose, but it's a. It looks like it was a fishing boat at one time, and they probably uh, turned it into a a tour boat. I guess, yeah. I guess that's the idea. You can take uh, trips on this, anyways. Maybe they take you out on a fishing fishing trip. I don't know. There goes one of those pilot boats that they guide ships in that are out in the harbor and don't know where to go. They guide you into where you need to go. I imagine it would be confusing the first time a, a ship comes in here if we come from another country. You got to know the path in here too because you can um, run into trouble if you get into a low spot. Those guys are the professionals. They know where the, the right path to bring you on safely. In here. To the Halifax Harbor. Many, uh, many piers. Many piers in here and spots for ships to go. I've seen pictures of back in the old days, like when it was all sailboats. This harbor was packed with sailboats. It'd be like 30, 30 sail ships in here at the same time. You never see that many ships now because ships are bigger and they can carry a lot more than they used to back in the days of the sails. Well, I'm starting off my day right anyways. You know, you gotta have your, uh, you gotta have your, uh, Tim Hortons. Anybody that's not from Canada, you might have, you might have had Tim Hortons and not be from Canada. I know you can get it at a few places. You can get it at airports, a few airports in, in America. You can get, you can get uh, Tim Hortons. They got a few spots, but they're not, they're few and far between. It's quiet here to what it was yesterday. I was here yesterday, going to make a video. It was, the, the harbor was packed with tourists. And I had a malfunction with my phone. I think what happened, it was so hot, my phone got hot and it started acting up on me and doing all kinds of crazy things. So I went home last night and looked it all over, trying to see what could be wrong. I didn't know, really. So I left it all night. I started again today and it seemed to be working okay today. So I can only assume it doesn't like real hot weather. That's what I think happened. And I don't like walking down these stairs into the water. <laughs> Maybe you do. That's great. A lot of people do like to do that, but it's not my thing. I know the water in the harbor is usually cold. And it's not impossible that a Shark could come in here from out in the ocean. The thought of that makes me not want to put my feet down in that water. Got a little bit of a breeze. It's always breezy walking through here because this is like a wind tunnel. If you want to get through there, it's not near as windy. Something about when they build those kind of things like that. You walk through, they, they build up the wind. That's a, that's a sail ship right there. You can see it better in the right light. But it depends on the time of day you look at, but you can see it as a ship.
There's the harbor hopper. They have them in a lot of cities now. And the Woodside Ferry out there in the harbor. I'm kind of hoping I can see that ship that was down there with a tall sail on it or whatever it was. It looked pretty tall. I'm hoping I'll get a look at that. Maybe it's coming up this way. Maybe that pilot boat was going down to uh, help them in. Hard to say. People come here from all over the world and, and ships, and unless they're used to coming here, they don't know where to go. Until they have to be guided in. Nice uh, tourist uh, store there with t-shirts and stuff. I probably mentioned this before when I was walking in here, but this ship right here was a. Uh, it's the only frigate left that was like that one, and I think I read that it was. I'm not sure about what, where it all went. I'm not gonna go there because I'm not sure, but I will tell you it was in World War II and it was a, a frigate. And it was the last one of these class frigates that's left. All the rest of them were destroyed during the war. This one somehow managed to not get destroyed. How they did that, I don't know, but they did. Orphies. I don't know where that place was. Let's see. Halifax was transformed in wartime. Military personnel increased from 2,000 to 100,000 by 1945. Entertainment was needed, so this place performed day and night within the Halifax Hill concert. Boy, oh, yeah. Notice the suits everybody wore back then, eh? Now, well, some of them were in their sailors' uh, uniforms and others were in their suits. Man, you wouldn't see nobody lined up now for a theater in a suit. <laughs> Times have changed. They certainly have. I don't know where this Orpheus Theater was. I would like to find out. But I can't tell what street that was on. It was probably on Barrington, but I'm just taking a guess. It might be on, been on Barrington, so I don't know if there's any way to tell. The number there on that door is 399. I can look at 399 and see if it's uh, any sign of that, that building looking like it does yet. Maybe. Maybe I can see the windows up above the store, get some indication. Or that particular window above the door, 399. I'm going to check it out. Remember that when I go up and see if I can find that spot. Here's the Queen Elizabeth. The mighty Queen Elizabeth right here. That would be the original one. I saw the Queen Elizabeth too in St. John, New Brunswick once, but this would have been the original Queen Elizabeth. And it's got Liverpool on the front. 
1945, Halifax. It was in Halifax, Nova Scotia in 1945. I guess that was when the war was over and they brought all the soldiers home. They needed a big ship. Look at that. There wasn't much in Halifax compared to now. <laughs> no, there was. Well, maybe there was. There probably was a lot of things that aren't here anymore. I know one thing that wasn't here then was the, the, the construction cranes and the taller buildings that weren't here then. Well, I like that. I, I'm a city person. I like, I like all that stuff. I like seeing the city build. See it grow. A lot of cities are under a great amount of growth right now. And it's all because we haven't got enough places for people to live. So there's a push on now everywhere to get apartments and houses. And there's a picture of the Halifax explosion. Somebody was around to photograph it. Up at Magazine Hill, Magazine, where the, just outside of that. They said that was the biggest explosion next to a, a hydrogen bomb or something like that nuclear weapon that was a that was a just just an explosion but it was the biggest explosion outside of a nuclear explosion well all is well yet on my video good I think it just got hot yesterday that's all I can blame it on. It's all good today. I gotta keep sipping away at my coffee before it gets cold. It's starting to cool down, but still okay. Well, I can drink it cold if I have to, but it doesn't taste quite as good. But. You want to see something really funny? That sign says, for your protection, do not climb. And every kid climbs on it. <laughs> kind of funny. But that is rubber underneath there. It's like a sponge. So if you fall on it, it won't be as near as bad as landing on cement or the wood. Tag me for more info on show. Visit Peter Phil Man Music. Um. A little breezy right here, but it's nice. It's because it's not cold, so. Nice breeze is good. As long as they don't get too much, then you get that noise in your in your microphone. Like that. <laughs> it is what it is. If I get wind in here, well, I guess I just get wind in here because I can't I can't do anything about that. So. I have learned though in the winter, the wind blows almost all the time in the winter. So if you want to make videos in the winter time, you can make driving videos. I do that sometimes, can't do it all the time, but do it sometimes. 
And the other thing is, figure out what direction the wind blow, and sometimes you can walk on streets where the buildings are blocking the wind. That's a, another trick I use. We'll go down this side, and then we'll come back over and have a look at that side, okay? Oh, there's that ship that came in. I want to see it. Let's get over here before it goes too far. But we'll do this side down here, and then we'll come back and do the, We'll do it backwards to what I was going to do. It's a U.S. Coast Guard. A sailing ship that used to be in the Coast Guard, I guess. It's a big ship. Wow, look at all the... Three masts and then a whole bunch of sails. I gotta get over here and show you this. I was hoping to see that. That's what I saw out on the water when it was a long ways away. An old Coast Guard ship. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, this is amazing. You wouldn't get to see this very often, especially in Halifax. I believe it has a motor as well. It's got sails, but the sails aren't in use, so I would say it has a motor as well. U.S. Coast Guard. Let me zoom it up a little bit. Okay. We'll zoom it up just a little bit here. There you go. Maybe it's going to dock somewhere here. It's possible. If it's docked when I come back, we'll take a better look at it, okay? Okay. All right, we got to look at it. We know what it is anyway. It's a, it was a Coast Guard. It might be still, but I don't imagine it is in service, but you never know. It could be. Okay, I gotta tell you about this area right here. This platform that I'm walking on didn't used to be here at the waterfront. And that building right down there, the tallest one, right there, and that piece on the bottom, okay, that had to cut into the land that we had here for the waterfront. So they made a deal to build this platform out here if they could have the land to put that building on. So I read. That must be what happened because we, now we got this nice platform out here and I really like it. It's uh, really, really nice and, and it's crowded with people sometimes. At night time, on a warm night, it's crowded with people. got a notice on my screen, storm warning. It looks like I'm zoomed up on this. I got to check. Maybe I didn't get it completely. Yeah, there we go. That, whoops. There we go. That's better. Right there. I don't even know if it's all the way yet, but I guess so. There. That's better. I got it now. I've got it now, I think. We could go out in here and have a look around. And then we'll come back in. Another little gift shop right there. There's that harbor hopper we saw in the water. This is where you get on it right here.
two of them in there right now. Yeah, this is just a bicycle rental for people that want to do that, ride a bike, ride around. Do you want to walk out on this pier? We'll walk up there. Then come back in. Actually, we don't even need to come back in here because there's not all that much to see when we come back in. We can go right around on the on the pier. Restricted area access by authorized personnel only. Oh, I don't think it's talking about this. I'm talking about that that water down in there. I'm not talking about this. But it might fool some people. It did be for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> that little girl is laying on the on the on the wood here and the parents are gonna pretend they're gonna leave her. <laughs> He's saying he don't want to go. He's staying. <laughs> well, I'm really happy that my phone is working good today again and that had to be what it was it just got too hot yesterday I see some more stuff out there in the harbor too I think that one's the blue nose is coming in right there so if we hang around here we might get a good look at it when it comes in. Now my coffee getting cold. I gotta finish it off and put it in this can right here. Good spot to get rid of it, right? And this goes with the garbage. Not recyclable. There it is. In the, in the garbage. There. Yeah, I see a, a ship out there and the sail, sail ship. So we'll see. Maybe they'll come in. Maybe not. Yes, that building right there is the one that used up some of the waterfront area. So we got that we got that new area down there because they gave up some land down here. I remember when that was like at least two or three years ago when that first started. A good two, maybe longer, probably was longer. But look at it now. It's almost finished. 
I wouldn't be surprised there's people moved in there. Some of those apartments up there. I wonder how much these apartments go for. There's six of them here. <laughs> They've been here a while, but I'll bet you they're not very cheap. <laughs> they would be, that would be like one of the most expensive spots you could be in. Now that new building would be more expensive, but still that would be an expensive spot right there. And actually, it's more than six apartments. There's more of it. Go it goes back. So there's a lot more than six. Let's see how many new businesses are in this building down here. Because the bottom is going to be all, all business. And the rest of it is probably a mixture of apartments and condos. Although I don't know that. I'm just guessing it might be all apartments. It might be all condos. But I doubt it. I doubt it if it's all condos. The place is busy at night. Not so much. Maybe, maybe not so much through the week as the weekend, but very busy on Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, we get down here, I'll take a look and see what's, what all's been in there or any signs of going into that building. And here's some other uh, apartments right here. Very expensive down here, right on the waterfront. This uh, bar restaurant is called the Bicycle Thief. And if you look up there on the wall, you'll see the bicycle. Oh, I see somebody up on the roof working on it. Can you see them? Putting up those poles, I guess it's gonna be like a railing around there, yeah. Yeah, I'll stand right over here so you can get a good look at this new building that has just about to be finished. All right, now we're going to see what kind of shops have moved in here yet. Okay, we'll do the ones that are in here and on the way out we'll see if there's anything in the front. That'll be my... That'll be my finish to this walk when we go out. When we go out, we'll look at the side of this. And it's a big building. So these are shops down here. We buy them. I don't know about the second one. If it's shops, if they're going to be a, it could be like a hotel. Because they always seem a lot different than so. It could very well be a hotel up there. So we can't go in. It's as close as it gets. Okay, that's gonna be an Asian restaurant. Bar, Asian, Asian food, so like that. Uh, this is Asia, so that could be Chinese, Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, all those, all those things. This thing's called water and polo, and I don't know if it's going to be some kind of a... I can't really say what that is, but... No trespassing. 
Yeah, I think we know that. <laughs> Look at all the nice uh, blocks they put in there. And all this dock area. Wow. And it looks like a, a stage area they set up over here as well. It looks like they're making it so people will be able to watch musical acts on that stage perhaps and sit in there. But I don't know. I'm just guessing. Well, it looks like some people have moved in because I see a table up on that second balcony. I see a table and chairs. I see a few other things. Yeah, it looks like slowly there's one up there. It's got stuff there and the door's open and there's some furniture out there. And these ones facing the water are going to be like high demand. They'll cost more. But if you want to have it, you're willing to pay it. There's a picture of it before it was ever built. We used to walk by here and look at that picture. And now, here it is. All built. And I think my phone just went up big again. I don't know. Maybe not. No, I guess not. Okay. Something, um... Something inside here. George's Island. Oh, tell us a little story about George's Island. The Graham. George's Island, yeah. 1755. Do I know the history of George's Island? Okay. I will read it to you. It's not that long, okay? I did know something about it, but I don't want to state, state something that's not a fact, so I'm going to read it. Okay. It was in Halifax on July. 28, 1755, that the Nova Scotia Council made the decision to remove every Canadian from the colony. Every Acadian, yeah, from the colony. Over the next decade, George's Island, a small island out there in the harbor, was used as a prison for hundreds of Acadians at that time. The first prisoners here, were the, were the deputies who placed the Acadian cause before the Nova Scotia Council in 1755. Till now you know what this was over here. Oh, they actually put it up close here to read to. Here it is right here. I could have read it right here if I... There's more to it. Okay. This was the grand upheaval. Nearly 10,000 men, women, and children were piloted the ships and deported to Anglo-American colonies, to England and to France. Others escaped the deportation seeking refuge in French territories, forming a resistance. Over the next 10 years, almost half the Acadian nation was lost at sea or died from disease and famine. By 765, a mere 1,600 survivors remained in Nova Scotia. Their fertile land now occupied by settlers from other areas. Some Acadian families returned to their former home, but most never again set eyes on Acadia. Many took root in Quebec and France, while in Louisiana, that's, that's why when you go down to Louisiana, there's a lot of French people, they came from here. Okay, so they were unable to wipe out the Acadian presence of, of, of its native soil and lives on Atlantic Canada speaking French and offering the world its proud, dynamic culture. So there you have it. Sometimes government make really bad choices on things. We, we trust our government to, to, to do the right thing, but, but that certainly was not, not the right thing to do. For sure. So we, but it just goes to show you that governments uh, can make mistakes too. But that was uh, not a very good thing. So that's like our little Alcatraz here from the island out in the harbor. It wasn't for just regular 
people who did things bad. It was it was built there for the Acadians. Now it's a, now it's a, like a museum. You can go over there. You can take a boat over there. They got a dock out there now. Never used to have that. And you can dock there and go, you know, look around the, the island. Hmm, yeah. Looking over at Woodside. The ferry terminal is right straight over there. Okay. Well, we're almost done with this walk. And we are at 40... 40 something, the sun's shining on my screen. It's either 43 or 48 or something minutes. So we'll, it'll be under an hour for sure. And I'm not holding up, it hasn't done anything wrong, so good. We're gonna have a good video here today. Informative too. There's a container ship coming in. Ocean X, I think that's container. Might not be, might be. It looks like containers on it, but I don't know. Well, we're walking here. All dogs must be on the leash. I forgot to put my leash on before I started, but. My little humor, okay. Wasn't that funny? Okay. No, I don't know. I don't think that's containers. I think that's a fishing boat, to be honest. There's something on it there, but it could, I don't know. Can't tell from here. Can you see that? ship across the harbor way over there you'll be able to see it if you watch if you watch it on your tv that is a specialized ship no that looks like containers on that i think okay anyway that one way over there in the distance that's the ship that brings cars from europe like uh audi mercedes-benz European type car BMWs and they come from Germany and cars from France I suppose and, and uh, England maybe depends on where the, they, they make several stops around the world before they come here but I was I watched a video on that and they hold in the thousands of cars you can put Thousands of cars on that ship, that one way over, not this one right here, but that one way over there by the oil tanks. That is a car specialized ship for, for cars. And if you want to know all about it, you can watch a video on YouTube about it. The, the, I guess the guys that work on that ship made a video and put it up there, it's, it goes into detail and you can go right, you can see right inside the, the ship, which anybody here doing a video wouldn't get access to that, so it has to be the workers that did that. Well, we're, we're almost to the end of this walkway, we can go a little bit further yet before I sign off. I don't know, I don't think those are containers. The more I look at it, I think it's fishing vessel. Container ships are usually much bigger and they have a lot more containers on them. I think that's, I think it's a fishing vessel. Kind of looks that way. Anyway, for all it's worth, whatever I know, I don't know. But I think it's a fishing vessel. I know what I know, and I don't know what I don't know. How's that? 
There's something the kids would probably like, sticking their heads in there and getting the picture taken. We saw a lot of the same stuff you see here when we were up in Montreal last summer. We were the tourists. It felt kind of nice just to not have to cook your own meals. For a whole week, we didn't have to cook. We just uh, ate out different places. Wasn't it great? You think you could just do that all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not have to cook. Oh, that would be great. Well, this is almost the end of our uh, walk on the waterfront. Container terminals just down here where those cranes are. See, they got a, a, a well-made uh, fence, so you can't get around there where the container, where the tour tour boat ships are, the cruise liners from places. any chance of smuggling or anything like that. So you have to come through customs to get out here. You can't go out that way and try to sneak something in here. Yeah, we'll finish our video up down here. And uh, I think it's a pretty good uh, video today. I know I've been down here before, this area. But it's always different. This always looks something the same. But when we first moved here, this was all touristy things. Now, it's different. It, it's not, it used to be all market and stuff down through here. Now it's the Port Operations Center. And there's a Museum of Immigration, which is down here at Pier 21. This is just simply called the Pier. Port Innovation, Engagement, Research, the Pier, I don't even know what that was. Pier 21, I think, is down here. You've probably heard of Pier 21. That's where all the immigrants landed back in years gone by. They all went through Pier 21. which I believe it might be here. I'm not sure. They used to have a big sign up here saying Pier 21. This one just says the pier. And that's not it. And this doesn't say Pier 21 on it anymore. If it did, maybe it's farther down. I don't know. I'm not sure because I thought it was right here somewhere. I thought this was it right here. Yeah, that's got to be it because this is the Museum of Immigration. Oh, this is private office. You can't go through that door. It used to be here. That's why they got these signs up and they're pointing you farther down. That's not Pier 21 anymore right there. It's down this way. Hello. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube in a couple of days. Hi. Hi. Everybody's on YouTube.
That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think the kids mind if they get on YouTube. Pier 21. Maybe this was it. No, this is Pavilion 20. I don't know anymore. I thought it was back there. I, I'm pretty sure it used to be. But I haven't walked through here in quite a while. Maybe that's why. Halifax Seaport. I think they changed something here. Or well, maybe Pier 21 is down here. It could be. That could be it. Not a lot of uh, people walking here. Um, the only one walking on this sidewalk at the moment. I see a cruise ship down here. They put the smaller ones down here. Um, the bigger ones behind that building. This might be it, no. For some unknown reason. I didn't see any sign about Pier 21. Well, that's it, I guess. If I guess if it's not here, it's not here. Or did I miss it? The pier, the pier might be the there's something else now. Storefront, Halifax, Port Authority, Immigration. No, it, it doesn't. There's Pavilion 22. There's no Pier 21 anymore. That's all I can make of this. It doesn't seem to be any Pier 21. This is what's at the Halifax Seaport. Port Authority, the Pier, Pavilion 20, Immigration Annex and Shops. That might be it. And, uh, yeah, no, no Pier 21 anymore. Maybe they renamed it. Who knows? Here's an old Railroad car, passenger, passenger coach from way back. Canadian National. I might have even ridden on this. It might have been still in service back when I was a young person. There's a good chance it might have been. Let's see if they give us any dates here. Yes. This is it now. Well, it could have been, but I don't know how long they use them, but it said this. They restored this 1937 railway passenger car that was donated to the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21 in 1999. It was donated in 1999. So, my first ride on it. CN train would have been back when I was a kid in the 50s. So it was a good possibility I could have been on this train. They'd probably run them up until at least 2000, maybe more, before they took it out of service. The passenger car lasts quite a while before they have to take it out. Oh, here's Pier 21 right here. Look, look. I wasn't to it. So we're going to walk over here and get a shot of it. I was, it's so long since I've been here, I forgot exactly where it was located. Now we know. So I'm going to stand right over here, and we'll look at Pier 21. 
it is definitely a, a tourist site. People like to come here and, and see it. Pier 21 right there. And if you look up top, you see it in that area. Big words, Pier 21, Halifax, Canada. And over there is a, I guess you'd call it a statue, a sculpture, or what, what have you. It looks like it's uh, bronze, brass or something, bronze, yeah. Statue of somebody that would have come in on the ship, gone through immigration, now they're sitting out here waiting to uh, see where they're going. Yes. Pier 21. Now, I, anybody asks me again, I can tell them where it is. Because I thought it was up that way, quite a bit farther, but no, it's here. I mean, well, what else do you want to, want to have a look at? Anything else? This is nice what they've done here. Fix this all up. Nice tiles, well maintained. This is your way into the to the port. But I'm not gonna go any further that way because it'd just be noisy with the trucks and stuff. So we'll go back. We'll go back up this way now and have a look. Remember when I walked down to Point Pleasant Park and went down that way while I walked right by those silos over there? Okay, so that gives you a little bit more of an idea where we are. Mm -hmm. the, the hotel that's right beside the train station is that one right there. The, the, the brick, the red brick, that's the hotel beside the train station. We're just on the back end of everything. This street is not so much of a tourist area. Some people do walk it or something to do, but. All right, we're gonna have some noise here for a couple of minutes. This is the route into the container terminal. Y'all, there's a lot of truck traffic through here. Back many years ago when I was quite a bit younger than I am now, I used to bring containers down in here from McCain's in New Brunswick. McCain Foods. It was usually French fries from Florenceville, New Brunswick. You bring them down here, they go all over the world. I know there was there was a one time it, for about I don't know maybe a week, two weeks. There, everything was going to Saudi Arabia, and. But they go everywhere, all over the world, those containers. So, let's see. There's the train that goes to Montreal. Right there. Maybe not that one. That one might be a, something else. I could just sit in there, maybe. I'm not sure. Train station hall, like every train station have a hall, like Toronto had the Great Hall. That's the, the hall area right there.
It's non-stop here, the containers. There's just, just one container after another. This one's an automobile uh, car, but container right behind it. Lots of containers come out of here. How many in one day? I don't know. Quite a few. There's practically one a minute. Here at least, sometimes more than that. Well, let's see how long is my video going. I think it's time to stop my video. Okay? I, mean, I hope you enjoyed this because it was really great walking through the the touristy areas and then coming down into this industrial area. I'm at the back end of the hotel. So, anyway, I'm going to sign off right here. Hope you enjoyed this, this video. If you did, don't forget that like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, my thanks to you. And there is a notification bell there if you want to push that. You get a little ding every time I post a video. And with that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.